Good morning and welcome to the historic Basilica Cathedral of St. John the Baptist. We welcome all of you present and those joining us through live stream. We pray that you are in good health. We ask that all present respect the instructions given by our ushers and the guidelines in place to prevent the spread of COVID-19, including using hand sanitizers, maintaining a distance of two meters, and wearing face masks at all times in the church. At the time of Holy Communion, we will give you further instructions. At the end of Mass, we ask you to follow the ushers' directions for leaving the church. Our gathering chant is number 310 in our CBW, O Come Divine Messiah. Our presider is Father Cecil Critch. Please stand. waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. Sweet Savior, haste, come, come to earth, dispel the night and show thy face and bid us hail the dawn of grace. Come, divine Messiah, the world in silence waits the day when hope shall sing its triumph and sadness flee away. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning. Good morning, Father. Uh, today we celebrate the feast of St. Nicholas. Um, we're talking about uh, in the fourth century, he was a bishop of Myra around Turkey, that country at the moment. And he was well known for his charity and particularly for the needy and the sick and the suffering. He was the bishop there and especially a great love for children and concern and for the protection of sailors on the sea. So today we, to his intercession, so of course as we know, um, uh, they took that uh, beautiful image of the Bishop Nicholas and have, you know, it became associated with Christmas and Father Christmas and uh, with Santa Claus. So that's where that whole tradition came from. A blessed one. To prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries today, we ask the Lord to come into our hearts and to forgive us for the times we have failed to be merciful, to be compassionate to others. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. You came to call sinners, Christ eleison, Christ eleison. Seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sin, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. 
May our, our deep prayer of petition rise before you, we pray, O Lord, that with purity unblemished, we, your servants, may come as we desire to celebrate the great mystery of the incarnation of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness and streams in the desert. The burning sand shall become a pool and the thirsty ground springs of water. The haunt of jackals shall become a swamp. The grass shall become reed and rushes. A highway shall be there and it shall be called the holy way. The unclean shall not travel on it, but it shall be for God's people. No traveler, not even fools, shall go astray. No lion shall be there, nor shall any ravenous beach come up on it. But they shall not be found there, but the redeemed shall walk there. And the ransomed of the Lord shall return and come to Sion with singing. Everlasting joy shall be upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sign shall flee away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our response to Psalm 85. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Let me hear what God the Lord will speak, for he will speak peace to his people. Surely his salvation is at hand for those who fear him, that his glory may dwell in our land. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Steadfast love and faithfulness will meet, righteousness and peace will kiss each other. Faithfulness will spring up from the ground, 
and righteousness will look down from the sky. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. The Lord will give what is good, and our land will yield its increase. Righteousness will go before him and will make a path for his steps. Show us your steadfast love, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. One day while Jesus was teaching, the Pharisees and the teachers of the law were sitting nearby. They had come from every village of Galilee and Judea and from Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was with Jesus to heal. Just then some men came carrying a man who was paralyzed on a bed. They were trying to bring him in and lay him before Jesus. But finding no way to bring him in because of the crowd, they went up on the roof and let him down with his bed through the tiles, into the middle of the crowd in front of Jesus. When he saw their faith, he said, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then the scribes and the Pharisees began to question, Who is this who is speaking blasphemies? Who can forgive sins but God alone? When Jesus perceived their questioning, he answered them, why do you raise such questions in your hearts? Which is easier to say, your sins are forgiven you, or to say, stand up and walk? But so that you may know that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, Jesus said to the one who was paralyzed, I say to you, stand up and take your bed and go to your home. Immediately the man stood up before them, took what he had been lying on, and went to his home glorifying God. Amazement seized all of them, and they glorified God, and were filled with awe, saying, We have seen strange things today. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are times in our lives when we need physical healing because we are unwell and sick, and there are many times other times in our lives when we feel the need for spiritual healing because we sense that our relationship with God is not all that it could be. The paralyzed man in today's gospel reading needed to be physically healed of his paralysis, but Jesus also recognized that he needed to be spiritually healed as well, to be made right with God. That is why Jesus first said to him, Friend, your sins are forgiven you. Then he said, Stand up, take your bed, and go to your home. But without the presence of the friends who carried the paralytic, Jesus could not have healed the man in the, his complete way. Their faith 
as much as their physical strength carried the man to Jesus. It was when Jesus saw their faith, that is the people who brought the man, that he began to address himself to the man's physical and spiritual healing. We're all a little like the paralytic and a little like those who carried him. We all need the faith of others, the faith of the community to carry us to the Lord and to open us up to his healing presence. We are also called to carry others in the community into the Lord's life-giving presence through our faith. None of us goes to the Lord alone. We all need community. We need one another's faith to help, be, help us to reach the Lord. Very often in life we come across obstacles of one kind or another to our faith that we have to navigate, whatever it is. We head in a particular direction and we discover that obstacles stand in our way or put in our way. The temptation can be to lose heart and to give up hope or to turn back. There are many obstacles in today's world to our coming to the Lord as we know. The crowd around Jesus were an obstacle to those who wanted to carry the paralytic to Jesus to be healed. The scribes were, the Pharisees were, an obstacle to the paralytic being spiritually healed, complaining that Jesus had no authority to forgive his sins. The Lord's power and the faith of the community meant all these obstacles could be overcome. As a result, the paralyzed man was healed in body and spirit. In many ways, this little community of faith can be an inspiration for us this Advent season when we are called to keep journeying towards the Lord, to keep our focus on the Lord, in spite of whatever may be at work in our lives to distract us from the Lord. As we keep our focus on the Lord this Advent, we look to Him for our spiritual healing as we make room in our hearts for His coming at Christmas. As Isaiah gives us so beautifully in the first reading, he gives us so much hope and courage. Strengthen the weak knee hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, be strong and do not fear. Here is your God. He will come and save you. Our prayers of intercession today. For our Holy Father, Pope Francis and Archbishop Peter, that they may have the courage and strength to proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ in our world today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for the safety of all children around the world on this feast of St. Nicholas, and also for the safety of all sailors on the sea. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray that we all will open our hearts to welcome Jesus Every day we meet him in the poor and the suffering of our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all the sick recommended to our prayers, those in hospitals, those undergoing surgeries today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for all our beloved deceased in our uh, pray, we pray for in our Mass today, for Yvonne Goodland, whose anniversary is today, for Cherry Green and Molly Donovan, for all of our departed loved ones, and for all those who mourn the loss and the death of loved ones, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the prayer in the quiet of your hearts today, your own intentions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And God, our Heavenly Father, we ask you to hear and answer all of our prayers, for we make them in the name of Jesus Christ, the Prince of Peace. Amen. God of all creation, for through your goodness you have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. And by the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, to humble himself, to share in our humanity. And blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash away our iniquity, O Lord, cleanse us of our sin.
pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Let us pray. Accept, we pray, O Lord, these offerings we make, gathered from among your gifts to us, and may what you grant us to celebrate devoutly here below gain for us the prize of eternal redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we will watch for that day, may inherit the great promise in which now we dare to hope. So with all the angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. And therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Peter, our Bishop, the clergy, and all your people. Remember all of our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John the Baptist, St. Nicholas, and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with them to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, 
all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 And we pray with confidence to our Heavenly Father in the words that Jesus taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. And deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, I said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We share the peace of Christ now with one another. Peace, peace be with you. takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy, worthy that, that you should, should enter under, under my roof, but only say, say the word, word and my soul shall be healed. An act of spiritual communion, a prayer for those who are unable to receive Holy Communion at this time. My Jesus, I believe you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you, for you are already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. To ensure that the reception of Holy Communion takes place in a safe and respectful manner, we ask that you please follow these instructions. Instead of individually replying Amen upon receiving the host, there will be one general attestation of Amen before distribution begins. Please remain standing in your pew until invited forward by an usher. Ensure your face mask is correctly worn before coming forward and maintain a two meter social distance in the communion line. As you approach the front of the line, sanitize your hands before receiving Holy Communion. Bow towards the host. In silence, receive the host in your hands. Step aside to consume the host. Return to your pew as directed by ushers. Those unable to receive Holy Communion in the hand 
may come forward to receive a blessing. The body of Christ. Amen. Our communion chant 6.6 .6 in Celebrate in Song, One Love Released.
Let us pray. May these mysteries, O Lord, in which we have participated, profit us, we pray. For even now, as we walk amid passing things, you teach us by them to love the things of heaven and hold fast to what endures through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Let us pray for protection through Mary during the pandemic. O Mary, you always shine in our path as a sign of salvation and of hope. We entrust ourselves to you, health of the sick, who at the cross took part in Jesus' pain, keeping our faith firm. You, salvation of your people, know what we need, and we are sure you will provide so that is in Cain of Galilee. We may return to joy and feasting after this time of trial. Help us, Mother of Divine Love, to conform to the will of the Father and to do as we are told by Jesus, who has taken upon himself our sufferings and carried our sorrows to lead us through the cross to the joy of the resurrection. Under your protection we seek refuge, Holy Mother of God. Do not disdain the entreaties of we who are in trial, but deliver us from every danger, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of us today, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass has ended. Let us go in peace, glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks be to God. Have a good day. Thank you, Father, and you. Our missioning chant, number 582 in our CBW. Praise the one who breaks the darkness. the one who breaks the darkness with a liberating light. Praise the one who frees the prisoners, turning blindness into sight. Praise the one who preached the gospel, healing every dread disease. Calming storms and feeding thousands with the very bread of peace. Praise the one who blessed the children with a strong yet gentle word. Praise the one who drove out demons with a piercing two-edged sword. Praise the one who brings cool water to the desert's burning sand. From this well comes living water, quenching thirst in